Hello my lovelies, welcome to the nail art storage and collection video. I'm going to show you all of the necessities that I keep in my Rascal cart. Let's get started. Make sure to subscribe! Rasco card I did purchase from Ikea so it is a three tier Rasco card and I absolutely love it because I keep everything in here like you can see I did purchase some new containers I did show these containers in my haul but let's first go through these so I have two bottles in here I have Plevacept uh, that's like a chemical that is used for like disinfection of the tools and I have just pure alcohol. I keep them in these spray bottles that I actually recycled from the old deodorants. I have this little, like, um, how do you call this? Like a sticky, sticky paper for stamping. And I also do keep in here my acetone and my cleaner so i did like mark the bottles because i get confused often in here i also have this container that i purchased recently so i keep all of my drill bits in here as you can see i have this little white buffing block just to clean up my bits and all of my extra bits are in here on top i have this little cube thingy where i keep all of my like uh, mostly used uh, cuticle bits and also I have some like gel removal bits in here some of the spots are empty because I need to disinfect those uh, bits so I just remove them from here so this is the system that I'm currently okay, using so in here I have a little bit space so I just put this little LED light also I have these uh, two like clear containers. So, so in here I have all of my like tweezers All of the spatulas like I have these cuticle pushers and These like glare spoons. So everything that I need for mixing gels like I have these two cuticle Like removing things that I do not like but I'm keeping it for like I don't know mixing gel or something like that know. this is not the way you should store it if you have clients because this is not like in any way sterilized because it is sitting like on top but as i'm using it on myself i will just clean it as i'm using it in the other like container i have some of the scissors that i'm using and uh, cuticle like scissors that I'm also using I have another ones that I need to sterilize so they're not in here I just keep this little paw on here to not be super sharp these like little scissors I did purchase for cutting like uh, forms or stickers or something like that I just love them like they're absolutely gorgeous also I have here some brushes so I have this beautiful dust brush that I purchased off of Aliexpress it is a flower like I absolutely love it like it is super glamorous but <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous so I just keep it in here as I need to dust my nails with also I keep like a little bit of dust brushes and glitter brushes in here but all of the different brushes that I have I keep in my Alex drawer but these are the brushes that I'm using currently so I just switch them so I have some gel brush I know for a fact this is like a detail brush so these are the brushes that are always in here so this is for dusting off some glitter and we have this little fan brush this is for pigment so yeah I'm switching out these different brushes like when I'm testing them and I just put a new brushes. I do not want to keep all of the brushes in here because I really do not need it. I also have in here some of the necessities. So I have, this is like that cleanup pen. As you can see, you dip this in some acetone and you remove the excess. I also have some dotting tools in here. 
like these are the must like i always keep these in here so they're currently being used so i have this stamper i never used it like it is a double sided but i never used it i don't know why but it is a small stamper like with two heads but i'm just keeping it in here if i need it I also keep one of these in here, so this is a silicone tool. I have more silicone tools, but they're in my Alex drawer, and I have some crystal picker upper. This is like a cap that it's from the floss for your teeth, but I just use it for this because this does not come with a cap, so just to protect it. And also I have one like random glass file that I use it on myself, so it's just right here. In so these containers i have so you can see i did put some orange wood sticks like i absolutely love these containers because they are super glamorous i love this these were discounted on my local store so i did purchase them in here are some wipes and in here i have some of the necessities also i have some like these triangular dishes i have these round dishes I have some funnels, I have one of these like glitter saving devices, I also have some brush resting stands like this and also this one, I have this like silicone thing that I never used, I have some charm bending tool, so all of the necessities that I maybe would need to use or I just wanted to have it by my hand because when I'm doing some nail art, I do not know what will I need and it just needs to be accessible. Okay, I absolutely love how this looks. And also on the other side, I have some of my like mostly used cuticle oils. Like I have some of the essence. I have this, like this is a scrub for your nails and cuticles. Like I've used it a couple of times. It's not a bad product, but I'm not really sure about it. I have this cuticle removal thing and I have some like more of the oils like I never go through a bottle of oil I usually throw it away like that's such a waste uh, I have some of my builder gels these are this is a clear these are my uh, local brands I do not use builder gels from Aliexpress that's just not affordable for me because they are usually not good so I just don't bother buying them in here I have some magic brush cleaner, so this is great for cleaning brushes off of um, gel and color. I also did purchase this container, this is supposed to be for uh, nail forms, but my nail forms are extra extra large, like super thick, and this is I think for the like old kinds. And this was discounted in my local store and I also seen these on Aliexpress. So I just use this like for putting all of my like um, palettes. So this is a small palette that I have. Let me just pull them all out to show you. So I have this resin palette. You can see this is the classic one. I have some of this. This is made by a girl that lives in my city this also i have this palette this is like a shawl palette you can put tips and take a picture of them i have this one this is an acrylic block for and i also have two of these which are very very similar this is for taking pictures of like practice nails and all of that so yeah i have a lot of palettes i'm not going to buy more palettes because that's just ridiculous. I have many of them and I barely use them, but I want to use what I have. So this is the way that I store it, just this way. And I think it's cool because it fits super perfect. Also on the bottom of these builder gels are more of the builder gels. I have some milky builder gel from a local brand. And also I have this this is from crystal nails i do not know if you have this brand in your area if you have this gem glue is the best glue that i ever found like gems and big crystals and 3d nail art does not go off like you have to use like those big scissors to like pull them off your nail like it is 
perfect like i absolutely love this gem glue and it's like thin consistency so it's not going to be bulky on a nail on this row i have all of my like preps and bonders i have some of what is this this is reflective glitter gel this is not supposed to be here i don't know know why is this in here but it is this is a nail foil glue it's from mccart best foil glue ever like it sticks perfectly i have some of the top coats in here i have some from blue sky like i love that i have some from born pretty like i'm not too sure about born pretty like matte this is i think yeah this is matte like it peels off super quickly i'm not sure about that product i have some blue sky that it's matte also i have some milky top coat i have this one this is from yayogi it's an intense seal this is super old like maybe four years it has but i'm keeping it just for practice nails i can just seal it i'm not using it on myself anymore and yeah i also have some of these born pretty top coats these are only seven milliliters this is matte eggshell and this is reflective glitter yeah. top and also i have some of these like professional um what is this like uh, aurora top coats i've never used it but i've heard uh, great things like look at this super aurora color like i love that and that's yeah. basically the first like tier on top is like my frequently used things let's go to the bottom second shelf in my rascal cart is dedicated to colored gels like i have so many colored gels like i have three of these containers as you can see so they're already full i told myself i'm not going to buy more of color gels because they do have expiration date and yeah since i'm not using them on anybody but myself i do not want to have like million gazillion gels so i just have these and i also have gel polishes in my alex drawer also i have this container that i purchased off of ali so I just, it is this container it is full with some stamping polishes as you can see i have some beauty big bang i have some nicole diary I have all of these stamping polishes and I do also have these two drawing polishes and I do keep in here some of the stamping heads and I do have scraping card. This container is awesome for stamping. I do not have many supplies for stamping because I'm not in a need, but I do have everything that I need in here and also on the bottom. I need to be very very careful because in here i do keep all of these practice stands these are little practice stands that you could see i have all of these like things for practice and also i have display like acrylic things in here and these are the tips for practicing i have some coffin shape and some stiletto so this container is super great for that. I just keep it in here in the bottom. Also, right behind of this, you can see right here, I did put some of these forms that I have from different brands. I have maybe 20 of each and I have no space to put it. So I just put it in this like Ziploc baggie and put it right here. So it fits perfectly and I know that they're here so I can use them. So now I did flip the rascal cart around so you can see the back, what's in the back. So I do have some of these display tips right here. So all of my colors are in here. Not all of them because I did purchase some new ones and there are a lot of gel polishes that I still didn't swatch. But once that I swatch them, they're all going to be here. Like look how many colors I own but i have more of them so i just put them on here because i have extra containers so it's not a big deal if i want to fill it i will just put these display fingers somewhere else i have this container are all of my like display tips so i have some black i have different like 
um, shapes and all of that but I have a lot of them because I found them on some sale and I just purchased them and in here I have some old tips that are actually yellow now you can see the plastic is yellow but I do not know what am I going to do with them I do not use them but if I need them I know that they're here because I do not want to get rid of them because I did spend the money on them and I really don't want to throw them away also in here is one of these acrylic container that it's on top because I purchased first four pieces and then I added two more like in my collection so I do have this spare one I just put them on here because I have space right here so I do have this big forms so these are the forms that are actually super nice these are 500 pieces maybe I used two pieces to repair my nail but I do keep it in this original box it is pretty bulky and in here I just have some of the nail files that I am like in a need you can see that there are some nail files I just put them in this bubble wrap and they stand right in, in a like gap in here I need to find the solution how to store these because I have some of the space right here that I need to fill it but I do not have containers that I can do that with I have this little container that's actually some acrylic it's cracked but I just put these two uh, magnets in here because I have some magnetic uh, gels and I do have now these magnets. I do have some of these small like uh, containers on here so I did put this little like cleanup brush also in here, this unicorn brush in here, I have some PVC gel in here are some 3D gels uh, these are if I'm not mistaken uh, spider gels yes I'm just I just put them on a bottom shelf because I'm not reaching for them as often I have some of this like silk wrap and I have some like wrap that I'm using it for not damaging my nail when I'm filing also in here I have some of these these are genie in a bottle this is like a, a gel but in a bottle so it is a colored one I, I have red black and white this is from my local brand on the bottom of that container i have some of these like applicators for chromes i have some sponges that i'm having just in a case that i'm needing it and also i have all of my dappen dishes right here like i'm not reaching for dappen dishes as often but i have like one that has a lid and the two that do not have lit I so this is currently everything that it's on the second shelf like everything is reachable i just need to figure out some way to store something in here like i need to find some slim containers that fit in here because i am bothered by the, the fact that i do not have containers to fill this space and to put something but i actually love how this looks like everything is reachable i can use it like for every set if i need to practice i need to swatch it i just pull it out and yeah use it and we are on the last shelf of my rasco cart this is where i keep this is my hand rest that i'm using like i actually love this material it doesn't get like too dirty you can like uh, pull it out and just wash it i love you can use acetone on it nothing will happen that's why i purchased the white one i also keep my drill in here i'm not overly satisfied with my drill because it is super noisy and it doesn't have like the power that i need but since i have it i do not want to purchase a new one because it is a waste of money and this is from aries libra it was a store on aliexpress but i actually saw these drills in many of the stores so you can definitely check it out but it is super noisy and it vibrates like crazy so i need to consider like maybe buying some new one but in here i have more of these wipes so i just keep it on the bottom down because this is like not super pretty i did not bother to 
like remove this sticker, but I have some of these wipes in here. I do keep my sterilization box in here in case I need it, like it is here. I have space for it, like it comes with these inserts inside uh, and I keep a brush that I'm cleaning my implements with. And I'm also keeping a nail LED UV light like on the back of my rascal card because if i need it i have it i also have a second one that i'm having on my like table in the living room that where i do my nails but just this way it is accessible so i always keep one light in here this this brand blue key is absolutely amazing it's super affordable and this lamps work like crazy Thank you so much for watching this storage and collection video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye!